Tech Tuan. What's going on guys, Nutty New here and we're here for another video about camera gear and camera tech and stuff like that. So a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago, I made a video about using gimbals too much. So now I'm, I'm gonna bite myself in the butt and talk about more gimbals. So I made a video about how we should stop using gimbals so much and what I meant by that is that I didn't mean that we should stop using gimbal completely. <coughs> what I meant is that we should be more diverse with our shot by using gimbals, by using tripod, <coughs> and by doing handheld and handhold shots, handheld shots and stuff like that. Because there's just too many people going with straight gimbals. But now I honestly went and bought myself a new gimbal system on the market. If you guys have been in the, in the game, uh, you guys probably heard of this already. This thing came out a couple years ago. <coughs> I'm not gonna go into depth about it. There's plenty of other great videos about tutorials and what this gimbal is. But to make it simple, this is the DJI Ronin SC. <coughs> I was gonna say Ronin M, <coughs> which is what I have. But this is the Ronin SC um, gimbal. <coughs> Completely stock, comes with everything that I have right now, except for the camera. I have just the A6300 with my kit lens on it. It's not even balanced for the kit lens, but just for example, I just wanted to put the camera together. But I'm gonna talk about why I bought this gimbal and what I'm gonna use it for. And hopefully that will get <coughs> give you guys a reason why I do still wanna use gimbal for this particular reason. <coughs> so. Uh, the first thing is that this gimbal is only like 450 ish which was a pretty good price for a handheld gimbal and the main thing about this gimbal is that um, I bought it because it was small it was light it's easy to compact it's very concealable and when you're filming in public I don't have my big old Ronin M rig to scare people off and stuff like that so <coughs> the main thing was um, I'm not gonna use this for my production line this year yet until I'm fully fully comfortable I might use it for here and there but for all my main shots uh, I wouldn't rely on this yet just because I'm not good at it yet I haven't perfect using this because it's really so it's really weird using it um, just with one hand because I'm very used to the Ronin M <coughs> where I have full control <coughs> I have a big monitor and stuff like that <coughs> so this one I bought it for mostly personal news <coughs> personal news creating content for you guys to watch on youtube channel fun videos vlogs uh, when i do like walk tours of downtown or if i go to like the malls you guys seen some of those videos already you guys probably noticed what what i was using some of those footage was all stabilized or on gimbals <coughs> and this is exactly what i bought it for was to make daily vlogs um um daily vlogs not daily because I don't really do a late day yet, but I try to, I try to guys. <laughs> but to make vlogs <coughs> and <coughs> to, to be able to give you guys just better smoothest footage because I'm really shaky when I film. I like to move a lot and stuff like that. But um, this is just for run and gun vlogging. <laughs> um, let's see if we go hiking and stuff like that. And I might want some smooth footage. <coughs> I might just take this along with me just because it's so small. I can throw it in the backpack. <coughs> and mostly just for vlogging and just for anything that I don't want to bring my big old setup with because my big old setup is very very scary when the when the public sees it they think that I'm doing something crazy or something's going on and they're super camera shy so this is just more uh, public friendly and really really nice to work with it's super simple it's pretty cool it has a nice roll a roll feature where I can control this and it does the 360 you guys seen some videos of that already and um, so that's the main reason why I bought this this was just for that purpose and <clears throat> I will try once I get very good at using this and uh, I do have like an 80% understanding of how to use it right now I just need to perfect it and make it more perfect myself actually <laughs> where when I walk it's not so jumpy and stable stuff like that so once I get used to it I might start using this in some, in some real estate projects and maybe some promotional videos for clients and stuff like that but for the most part I'm still <coughs> relying on my DJI Ronin M um, just because I have 100% confidence in that equipment system right now um, I won't be using this to shoot any car videos yet <coughs> just because it's so weird um, you're really limited on your screen <coughs> unless you want to go ahead and install a big monitor but I don't really want to do any of that yet and uh, I also 
uh, this thing wouldn't be good for rollers and stuff like that <laughs> especially you put it in especially you hold it down or anything like that a lot of wind's gonna get to it <laughs> if you're inside the car you might be able to stick it out the window but for the most part i wouldn't shoot any car videos with this yet because i haven't fully perfected <laughs> but it's really nice guys it has lots and lots of great features it has so much features i cannot even go over it throughout this video or this video will be like an hour long but there's a lot of features on this gimbal setup the ronin sc that you guys can find videos just particular with it and the battery lasts super long the battery can last all day um, i haven't i haven't gone through the full batteries i've been charging it here and there every, every time i'm done shooting but it still has a full pack of battery so everything's really good and that's the reason why i bought the ronin sc i'm pretty pretty satisfied with it they do have the ronin s i believe that's the ronin s which is like the same version here but it's bigger and it's able to hold a bigger camera setup but this is perfect for mirrorless shooters like me sony shooters and people like that so that's why i bought another gimbal guys so that's just a quick video i just want to give you guys a quick update <coughs> i didn't really talk too much about it or i didn't really i didn't really post too much on my instagrams because i didn't want to freak you guys out that i went and bought a new gimbal system because i really did want to do test it out first and make sure i really liked it before i decided if i want to return it back but i think i'm gonna keep it because so far i really really do enjoy doing it and i'll go ahead and put up some footage after this maybe and let's show you guys some stuff that i did and uh if you guys got any questions let me know in the comment section below now i don't i don't encourage you guys to all go out now and buy it i mean just get what works for you and for me this is a tool that i think will work for me for what i will i would do in the future so that's why i went and bought it so just don't uh, don't be influenced by me now but let me know if you guys got any questions in the comment section and uh, i'll try to answer most of them and i'll see you guys next time bye, -bye. what's going on guys we're vlogging here on the Ronin SC here and uh, hopefully I look pretty good it is pretty chilly we're out here at Ship Creek here and uh, my camera's acting up a little bit I think it's getting too cold but the uh, <coughs> the tail axis keep wanting to like lag around so we'll see what happens hopefully I look good I'm filming on the A7R3 uh, along with the 1635G Master shooting at 2.8 all the way up to like 1600 ISO Super dark around here, super scary too.